Well guys, um, welcome back, and it turns out Kreia is a traitor. She has betrayed us, and she killed the Jedi. Master Vuk. The Jedi, the master is dead. This master is dead, drained of life. His body is worse than lifeless. It is an absence in the Force. Master Kavar. This master is dead. Master Zeskayel. Mitz master is dead. They are dead, guys. There's only one Jedi left. Me. Kreia has betrayed us. Oh, I remember this. This is where we... This is where the hotel rooms went. This is where those hotel rooms were. The robot was right there, saying I could leave, and from Kotar 1. This is where the Ebon Hawk would leave. Would. This is where we could land the Ebon Hawk. The Ebon Hawk would land over here, and now it's barricaded with rocks. Everything's coming back to me now. To the courtyard. We need to get to the Ebon Hawk. Apparently, I think that Kreia has brainwashed the Handmaiden. Where's Kreia? The handmaiden took her. She thinks Kreia killed you. But Kreia didn't do that. Of course she didn't. It's a lie. Another lie. The only thing that matters is the handmaiden believes it. And she's gonna react exactly how that old witch hoped she would. That's why she wanted the handmaiden on board, you know. So she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished. The, they're going to Telos? Yes. The handmaiden knows who she is, Nat. She'll take her to Telos. And Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. Atris will execute her? Yeah, she will. Kreia is a is Sith. Are you surprised? All that talk of hatred, manipulation, and standing on your own two feet? Still, if we were all judged by who we were in the past, I don't think you'd understand who we are now. Then we're going to Teal's. We have no choice. That's what I was afraid you'd say. What is wrong? Something troubles you. I can feel it. Jesus. Can you? That is a strange answer. I do not understand. Jesus. Do you ever wonder why you're with me? I would die for you. And if there is an ending between us where my sacrifice can save you, it will be because it is my desire. But how do you know? I simply do. What did you learn within the Jedi Academy? That I form connections to the Force, and there is, uh, and that is why others follow me to their death. Then that is the danger of their beliefs. The feelings I have for you are because of what I see. I follow because I believe in you. I would die for you because I believe in you. And where they look at you and see the death of the Force, I look at you and see hope for all life. I look at you and see that perhaps a life untouched by the Force is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go on alone. Instead, take strength from your connection to others. Do not forsake them as you did in exile. I will, Visus. Wait, you're troubled. Why? He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. If I have to face him. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. I cannot stay with I will stay with you for as long as I can. I want to look upon you, where no one else can see. I wish to see what the handmaiden sees. What causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, 
I need to know if perhaps I am wrong. The universe is not is not society is not so whatever as our eyes make it out to believe us as you know this. From the moment I heard your voice across the galaxy, I have longed for you. It is the echo. When I heard it, I loved you more than my own life. And I wanted you to be here with me for as long as you will let me love you. Stay. And I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. Then let us look upon each other. What is the exile and the basis now together or something?